Are you annoyed of your coding models hitting a wall or spending too much due to a constrained context window? Well, don't worry because I have a solution for you. Just take a look at this task management app with the drag and drop functionality that I had coded out with AI in a single prompt with no errors and minimal token expenditure. This is something that didn't hit any sort of context limit, no model crashes, and no context overload. But how is that actually possible? Well, it's with a new tool called Taskmaster. It smartly splits work across models and keeps everything lean and optimized. Taskmaster is an AI-powered task management system that's designed specifically for an AI-driven development workflow. It is especially used with different cloud models as well as within Cursor, Klein, RuCode, and many other AI coding agents. It helps streamline and automate coding tasks by leveraging different AI models in a structured way. Taskmaster is greatly going to optimize your development workflow. This is essentially where you're going to save a lot of time. You're also going to face most likely less errors, and you're going to save a lot more in terms of your token expenditure without hitting any sort of context window. Now, the best part is it works with any AI coding agent. You can actually use it as an MCP or as a client tool where it could be deployed into Klein. You can use it within root code, cursor, VS code, or any sort of IDE. So there's two ways to actually get started. You can easily install this as an MCP, as a model context protocol server, where you can just run task manager directly within your editor. It works with cursor, Windsurf, VS code. And what you can do is simply copy the configurations for the MCP server and paste it into the cursor or windsurf MCP server file. For example, within cursor, you can head over to the MCP section within this cursor settings, and then you can add the server over here. Obviously, you would want to change the configurations. And one important thing I want to note is that this is where you can define three types of models to be used, the main model, the research model, and the fallback model in case either the main or research fail. Whatever model you use, its provider API key must be present either in the MCP JSON or the ENV. In the same manner, you can set this up within VS Code and you can actually configure this within different extensions like Line or even Root Code. So in this case, you can copy the configurations that are set within this GitHub repository and then you can go into whatever extension that you wanna add the MCP to like Root Code or Klein head over to the MCP section. And then what you can do is head over to the install tab, configure the MCP servers, and then add your configuration over here with the API keys that you wanna use for different model providers. Now, if you're on cursor, you wanna make sure that you enable the task manager MCP, and then you wanna configure the models you wanna use. And afterwards, within your editor's AI chat pane, you can then initialize the Taskmaster AI within your project. There's a couple of steps that you would follow through if you're going to be following along with the MCP installation. But in my case, I'm going to be showcasing option two, which is, I guess, a bit more optimal in my opinion, where you can use it with the command line. To install this within your actual CLI, you can install it with two ways. You can install it globally, so it affects every single project and file, or you can initialize it within a project itself with the following two commands. It's super simple. You can use the npm install uh, command, go into your ID, open up your terminal, and then you can paste this in and it'll then install it globally. After installing all the packages, I'm going to head over into an application that I want to initialize Taskmaster within. So this is Task Manager, an app that I showcased at the start of the video. And what I'm going to do is now going to initialize it within a new project. So in this case, I am going to use this command since I installed it globally, but if you didn't, and you installed it locally within your project, you would want to use the second command, initialize it. And after you have pasted in the initialization command within your terminal, you will see this pop-up of Taskmaster AI. Before we get started, I just want to mention that you should definitely go ahead and subscribe to the World of AI newsletter. I'm constantly posting different newsletters on a weekly basis. So this is where you can easily get up-to-date knowledge about what is happening in the AI space. So definitely go ahead and subscribe as this is completely for free. First things first, it is going to ask for this required option where you can add shell aliases. I'm going to go ahead and click yes. And then afterwards, it is going to request us to continue on to uh, move on with the next settings. So you're going to then going to need to customize and configure the AI models. So you can add the three models I had 
requested, or the three types of models, the main model, the research model, and the fallback model. You can choose any of these providers. It works best, obviously, for Anthropic due to its low context window. I would set it for Anthropic's API key for the main model. The research model, you can use a Gemini model, the 2.5 Pro, and then a fallback model, maybe the Gemini 2.5 Flash. You can also use custom Olama models, open router models, and that is a good flexibility where you can easily configure and use other options. After you have provided your API keys, you'll see this success uh, picture within your terminal. Now you'll also see that task manager created this env file and what you can do is you can even configure it within this file itself. Make sure you go ahead and rename it and take out dot example and then after you have configured your API keys, simply click on file and click on save. And to view current AI models and configurations that you have already set to see if you have validated the correct API key. I know I'm showing it. Don't worry about it. I'm going to change it up after it will showcase the different CLI keys that you have provided for all the models. Now that we have everything set, we have this example PRD, which is for product uh, requirement description. So you can set this up and configure it based off of having the root code or client extension configure it for your own preferences. So for example, I can go to root code, I can tag this exact file, which is the example uh, PRD, and I can request it. Can you build me a PRD to create a drag and drop task management app to manage notes and much more? add more features, follow the same structure as this example PRD. Now I'm doing this because I'm a little lazy to configure each of these components. Why not just have the AI do it itself? Now you can also do this within the actual terminal where you can parse a PRD and generate the task list itself. And I'll showcase why you would want to do this. It is going to streamline the process, create subtasks so that your model doesn't run into any sort of context window limit. So in this case, you can see it is going to work on creating this PRD for me that is similar to this example structure. And then it's going to save the task list and I can then execute with the task manager connected to my AI agent. Now you can do this with cursor, any sort of AI coding agent, and it's going to make your life so much more easier. And there we go. Root code has generated this task flow pro PRD, and it has followed the same script as the example PRD file, which you see over here. So now what you can do is you can either use the MCP within client or root code to then execute and parse into generating the task list with task manager, or you can just do it within the terminal, which I prefer to do. And to do so, what you can do is simply go back into your folder and make sure you know the name of your PRD and you can paste in this command task manager parse pro, and then paste in the actual PRD that you created. So in this case, it's task flow underscore pro underscore PRD dot EXT, which is going to then create the task list for us. And then afterwards, it's going to display all of them within the task folder. And it's finally complete. It has generated 10 new tasks for that overall PRD to be executed. You can see in each task, there's a couple of implementation process. And again, the reason why you do this is because with a model like Claude or some models that have a low context window, it is going to get overloaded and it would probably create multiple chat tasks, not executing the task within one singular chat. And that is going to cause a lot of discrepancies within your overall project, it's not going to make changes across your overall project, which is why splitting it into subtasks like you see over here is better for the AI to actually tackle. And it does a better job, more quality, and it actually spends less in terms of token expenditure with this process. And guys, Taskmaster also provides a couple of other prompts to configure the task that it had generated itself, maybe adding a subtask or a command to implement a specific change. And now finally, to implement all these tasks, you can go into your coding agent like root code and you can provide the context for this task and you can say implement all of the tasks one by one and then you can send in the prompt and it will then focus on executing that task and there we go we now have our task flow app fully created and you can see that there is a quick node tab where you can easily add a node and then you can add a task to do in progress and review and completed there's notifications or automations you can add a new task with different colors and then let's just say add a random test and then click on save and then you can see that you can add it in you can also add a voice note which is kind of impressive now all the other components are still yet to be fully coded out but the calendar is coded and it looks like the timeline is worked on as well the voice note recent notes are also 
add it over here. And what's cool is that if I am to talk into this, I, it is actually going to transcribe my voice note. So I can say something like, create me a YouTube video by tonight. And then I can click on that and you can see that it transcribed that note for me. Create me a YouTube video by tonight. I don't know why I said that, but you can see that this was all fully coded out. All the different tasks that it had was fully coded out without any sort of error. There's also a couple of things that need to be worked on, but overall it did a pretty decent job in working on creating this app quite rapidly. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining our private discord where you can access multiple subscriptions to different AI tools for free on a monthly basis, plus daily AI news and exclusive content, plus a lot more. But guys, that's basically it for today's video on Taskmaster, and that's what you're actually capable of doing. You can see the output quality is way better than what you can actually generate in one shot with a single prompt with the Claude model or even a Gemini model at some times. But with that thought, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video and got some sort of value out of it. I'll leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily get started. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the second channel and join our newsletter, join our Discord, follow me on Twitter, and lastly, subscribe, turn on the notification bell like this video and please take a look at our previous videos because there's a lot of content that you will truly benefit from but with that thought guys have an amazing day for positivity and i'll see you guys fairly shortly peace out fellas